Apollo 11 landing on the moon was probably the most inspiring thing in history. Did you know that it's been over 50 years since humans last set foot on the moon? Now, SpaceX is working with NASA to bring us back, but this time with bigger rockets and new technologies. So when exactly will humans land on the moon again? And what does this mean for the future of space exploration? Let's find out. If we get to use this path. And that's that my question. Insane honor. What does that wow. feel like? We're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> when we think about SpaceX, most people probably picture Elon Musk and his ambitious vision for Mars. But before SpaceX can take humans to the red planet, they have a much closer goal in sight, getting back to the moon. The Starship rocket is at the heart of this mission. It's designed to be the most powerful rocket ever built, capable of carrying humans in large payloads deep into space. SpaceX has been testing Starship for a while now. Just recently, they completed a key test flight, which ended in a successful landing on the Indian Ocean. The Starship upper stage landed without a hitch, marking a major milestone. The good news doesn't stop there. NASA is taking notice of SpaceX's success and how it impacts their plans for Artemis. Have you ever wondered what it's like to see a giant rocket land back on Earth after traveling through space? It's pretty amazing to watch, right? NASA's Artemis 3 mission is aiming to land astronauts on the moon, and the Starship is the vehicle that will carry them. But the real question is, when will this happen? For years, the timeline has been shifting. Some experts believe humans could land on the moon as soon as 2026, but others are a bit more cautious. After all, there's a lot of work to do before that can happen. The plan is for SpaceX to do an uncrewed test landing on the moon in 2026 as part of their preparation. But even if that goes smoothly, there's still a lot of work to be done before they can safely land astronauts. According to a NASA assessment, earlier this year, the agency has some concerns. They say they're only 70% confident that Starship will be ready for the lunar landing by February 2028. It's clear that while SpaceX is making progress, getting a rocket ready for something as important as a moon landing is no easy feat. But is it possible they make it happen sooner? Or will 2028 be the realistic goal? What do you think? In recent statements, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has shown optimism about SpaceX's progress. He mentioned that the test flight of Starship was a major step forward, and it's clear that SpaceX is getting closer to meeting the mission's requirements. Nelson even said that the timing of Artemis 3 will depend largely on how well Starship performs in the coming years. However, there's more to it than just rockets. NASA's own SLS, which is the backbone of the Artemis program, is facing delays. The Artemis 2 mission, which is supposed to be a crewed flight to lunar orbit, might also be delayed. It's a bit concerning, especially since Artemis 2 was originally supposed to launch in 2024. With these delays, the pressure is on. NASA needs to figure out how to keep the Artemis program on track while SpaceX works towards their own goals. But it's not just NASA's rockets that are facing setbacks. Some of the ground systems needed to launch the SLS are taking longer than expected to complete. What's holding up the schedule? A recent report suggests that Artemis 2 could be delayed yet again, which could push the timeline for landing on the moon even further. The issues with the SLS mobile launcher and the repairs needed after Artemis 1 were more complicated than NASA anticipated. So the question becomes, can they get things together in time? If Artemis 2 is delayed, it could mean the entire Artemis 3 mission is pushed back. That would have serious consequences for NASA's moon plans. But despite the setbacks, NASA is determined to land humans on the moon again. The real question is whether the timelines will shift yet again. NASA is definitely keeping a close eye on SpaceX's Starship program. The company's rapid development of new technology and its track record of successful launches have made them a key partner in returning humans to the moon. But the big challenge is how quickly SpaceX can turn their Starship prototypes into a working, crew-capable spacecraft that can land safely on the moon and return to Earth. But let's not forget, SpaceX is just one part of the equation. NASA has its own pieces to manage, including the Orion spacecraft, which will carry astronauts to the moon. The entire mission is a complex collaboration between SpaceX, NASA, and other key players. 
And while SpaceX has proven they can make incredible advancements in a short time, the moon landing is a huge high-risk operation. While SpaceX and NASA are focused on the moon, there's another big challenge NASA is tackling, low Earth orbit. The International Space Station has been NASA's home in space for over two decades, but it's coming to the end of its life. As the ISS nears retirement, NASA is looking to the future of science in space and how to keep a human presence in orbit. NASA's new plan is to work more with private companies. They want to partner with commercial space stations, which will take over the role of the ISS. This means that private companies will be responsible for building and operating their own space stations, with NASA buying services from them. This approach will ensure that scientific research and human presence in space continue without interruption. NASA's plan is pretty ambitious. They want to have commercial space stations up and running before the ISS is deorbited, and this needs to happen by around 2030. Does this mean we'll see more private companies in space in the near future? What role do you think they'll play in the next chapter of space exploration? Space exploration isn't just a race between NASA and SpaceX. Other countries, especially China, are making big strides in space research. China has just unveiled a long-term plan for space science that will stretch all the way to 2050. They have some ambitious goals in mind, like studying dark matter, exploring the origins of the universe, and even searching for extraterrestrial life. China's plan also includes building a lunar research station on the moon and expanding their Tianyang space station. This strategy is a clear signal that China wants to become a leading player in space exploration and could rival NASA in terms of future discoveries. Will China be able to meet these ambitious goals, or will they face the same challenges that other space programs have encountered? Only time will tell, but it's clear that the future of space exploration is becoming more global than ever before. What's next for SpaceX and the moon? So, what's the takeaway here? SpaceX is on track to play a major role in sending humans back to the moon. With their Starship rocket, they could be part of the Artemis program by the late 2020s. But there are still a lot of unknowns, and delays are always a possibility. NASA and SpaceX are working hard to make this happen, but the timeline for the lunar landing might not be as soon as we hope. In the meantime, other space programs, including China's, are pushing the boundaries of what we know about space. Whether it's landing humans on the moon, exploring deep space, or studying life beyond Earth, the next few decades in space are going to be incredibly exciting. The future of space exploration is unfolding right before our eyes, and we can't wait to see where it goes next. Do you think humans will be back on the moon by 2028? Or do you think the timeline might stretch even further? Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.